Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slide show for Thursday, August 30th. Today I am back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. In last week's chart slide show, I had returned back to the daily charts. Uh, the week before that, we looked at the weekly charts. I basically said we pulled back um, to some intermediate term support. It kind of bounced off of that, so you know, I thought the uptrends, the longer term uptrends remained intact and basically now it was a question of what levels to watch on the daily charts. So we saw these charts here and I basically laid out some levels uh, specifically talking about resistance overhead on the SPX uh, that I was going to be watching. Um, the other charts have similar uh, overhead resistance zones and also pointed out the lows uh, from the previous week as a support level to watch. And I left last week saying we, we had a bounce, we were rallying towards resistance and said it would make sense to see the action slow down a little bit, um, but you know, keep an eye on the resistance levels to see you know, how, how strong this underlying rally is. And when we turn to this week's charts, we see that uh, things have slowed down a little bit. Obviously, it's been a pretty wild week here. You know, we had the strong, strong sell-off. And then yesterday saw a bounce back that pretty much erased it. So you know, Tuesday and Wednesday pretty much netted out to no net movement for the market, uh, which is pretty frustrating and left us with basically kind of a small decline from Monday still hanging over us. Uh, the action for today looks like it's going to be, uh, we won't know what's going to happen until the close. You know, We've been all over the board today again. Um, hasn't been quite as volatile as the last few days, but we have seen moves in negative and positive territory. As it stands now, we're slightly down. Uh, but what I'm watching here is basically this zone still. I'm looking on the SPX to see if we can rally above that. You know, we kind of pushed up into it on Friday. Uh, this week, we've essentially sort of had a pullback, but it's been a fairly minor pullback. Um, so that's something to watch next week. You know, the idea of a retest of the lows is something I've been discussing. Uh, one of the things I noticed this week is that it seems like everybody's talking about a retest of the lows. And, you know, I'm of the opinion that when everybody's expecting something, it generally doesn't happen, or at least doesn't happen in the way that people are expecting. So, as far as a nice clean retest of the lows and then a bounce off of that, I'm somewhat suspect. I don't know what to say as far as what I do expect, um, but given that there's a lot of people looking for the retest, I'm kind of... You know, reassessing that view. What I do know is that the broad market indices are set up just below resistance. Um, that's pretty much where I left things off last week and it's kind of where we're set up again. Um, you know, we haven't seen a strong rejection from resistance yet um, so maybe that's a slightly uh, encouraging sign. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get too excited though until we could see some sort of strength and see a movement that pushes above resistance. Um, I'm out of the office tomorrow and we have the long weekend uh, you know, with Monday's holiday. So it wouldn't surprise me to see the action slow up a little bit um, and then maybe take us a little bit of time on Tuesday just to get back into the flow. So anyway, uh, next week, that's where I'll be keeping an eye on that resistance zone. So uh, as always, stay tuned to the blog. Stop by and uh, drop me a note. Have a great weekend.